Hi everybody, welcome to a more mic noise filled <laughs> big Anklevich ankle cast. Um, <clears throat> I went to start the ankle cast and I realized at that time when I turned it on and nothing happened that I'd left my lav mic with the power on and so it is dead. The battery is completely dead and it is doing nothing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do this one holding the zoom and using it as the mic, which is cool that it can do that, um, but uncool that I have to hold it because it's less safe. And right now, Rish has my little windsock, and so every time I make any noise or I make any breath, you can hear it breathe against the uh, mic and make a little n windy noise. So I will try to not breathe. Um... Anyways, yeah, I'm doing another ankle cast here. Uh, Rish Outfield was getting on my case. Oh, sorry about the breath. Rish, I'll, I'll bring it down lower. Maybe that'll help. Rish was getting on my case last night as we were hanging out, talking about uh, not doing enough ankle casts. I suppose there's not really a good reason not to, um, because I'm just sitting in my car anyways. But, uh, yeah... Uh, sometimes I don't feel like I have enough to say. Um, I did. I mean, it's been very recently that I wrote another story. It was my story for the Triple Word Score contest, uh, which was a bit of a, a, a hassle. It's funny because me and Rich are very much against this kind of crap, but yet we did it anyways. We made a contest where it had a, sh a low word limit, 2,000 words or less. My story and I tried not to write it very long. It turned out to be 2,600 something words. I had to cut out one of three scenes. There was only three scenes in the whole friggin' story. I had to cut out one of them entirely and then go through the scene that came after it uh, and remove all references to it. Um, and then I was still over the 2,000 word limit. So then I had to go through and like sentence by sentence I'd look at it and be like okay I could say this same thing but with these words which is only two words instead of four and I did that through the first two like paragraphs or so and then I'd eliminated 20 words out and was able to uh, send my story off it's funny you know Rish complains mightily about it all the time uh, mostly because he has this weird fascination with writing drabbles and he'll write a drabble and it'll be like 300 words and then he'll pare it down to nothing and then complain about the the whole thing. I just got a text. How about that? Um, he'll complain about the whole thing and, uh, and I, I always wondered why in the heck are you writing a drabble in the first place if you hate writing things that are really short and hate cutting things down to an arbitrary word limit but he keeps doing it, and uh, now we've done the same thing with our contest. I, the whole point was that way we wouldn't have to read really long stories, so we'd be able to read them all, and it wouldn't be a huge, onerous task. But we hadn't considered the writing of the stories and how we will have to uh, write one and cut it down and take a story that would be better if it was longer and make it less. Um, but ah well... Uh, you know, that's the way it goes. Maybe next time we'll make the triple word score contest have a higher word limit, but a limit on the people that can participate. That's what we were thinking last night, or at least my idea that I had. Maybe we would only take the first 20 people to uh, to volunteer to be part of the contest. Well, the first 20 people to sign up. That way we know we'd have less stories. I mean, this time around, I think we had like 45 people uh sign up for it in the first place. I don't know that all of those people actually wrote stories, but they all threw their hat in the ring anyways. Um, so, uh, yeah. I finished a story. How about that? It doesn't happen very often. You know, me and Rish were talking about this ankle cast, and I'm thinking that I may do one where I read uh, one of my shorter stories that I've written recently. Just read it on the show and then talk about it a little bit. And, uh, and uh, of course, I wouldn't read it while I was driving. Sorry, laughed too much and blew on the mic. 
I wouldn't read it while I was driving. I would, you know, uh, read it beforehand, get it all edited up, and then do an episode on it. Um, but it's a good... I have several short stories that, you know, they could be Doonstief episodes too, which might be a good idea because then we get Doonstief episodes out more often. But I've got to reward all the ten people that listen to this podcast because, you know... <sighs> If they'll listen to this, you know, they, they deserve something. Because seriously, man. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, uh, so that's what's going on with my writing. I have written. I haven't been writing good, I'll have to admit. I wrote like three days, uh, one week to get the majority of that story done, and then I waited until like the last day and wrote another thousand words um, the last day to uh, finish it up with like a week and a half in between. Need to figure out some way to be excited about writing. You know, it's funny because every time I get together with Rish, we hang out and we talk and and I would say at least one in three times we wind up talking about stories and story ideas and writing and, and I'm always pumped up after talking to him almost to where I would just like go and start writing right then if it weren't for the fact that it was two in the morning, I would totally do that. By the time I wake up in the morning, I'm already less pumped and less excited. I I need to just talk with Rish about writing all the time so that, uh, yeah, so that the excitement, the uh, excitement level is there. But yeah, I'll get excited for all different stories. We'll mention story ideas that I had and stuff like that. Yeah, it was funny <laughs> yesterday when we were talking about that, Rich said, yeah, you should read the story that you wrote about when this happened and uh, this one story, and then you can tell the story that goes behind that. And I'm just like, dude, I never wrote that story. I only told you the idea. And uh, I never went so far as to actually write it. And he's just like, what? You didn't write that? How do I know that story? I told you the idea for it, but I never wrote it. So, (laughs) yeah. Makes me think. Alright, sorry about that. There was a brief interlude that you probably didn't really notice where I had to change the battery because the mic, uh, the battery just died on me. Not the mic battery this time, but the other battery that's on the Zoom. Luckily, I keep a spare in the box that I keep my Zoom in. So I'm able to continue on despite the lack of, despite the, the, the all my batteries dying in the same day. Um, I can't, oh, I hate when that happens. Now I don't remember what I was in the middle of saying. I think I was talking about not writing a story that Rish told me I should read. Uh, so yeah, anyways, yeah, that's one of those things that comes up sometimes when we're hanging out is that we'll talk about story ideas that I've mentioned and I do that a lot I'll tell them a story idea that I have and uh, yeah and but then I don't actually write that story so he'll keep telling me yeah you should write this idea you should write that one and uh, yeah it gets me uh, going that way what you doing you talking back there yeah yeah Oh, you can't have it. You just gotta talk. Can you talk? Talk. Yeah, that's it. Talk some more. Talk. You say something? All right. You had your guest appearance, kiddo. You're done. (laughs) Oh, shoot. That's a lot of bad mic noise. Um... Okay, so that's what I've been doing on writing. Uh, Unfortunately, the future doesn't look bright, at least the near future doesn't look bright for writing because I think I said this last time, my house sold, um, which we're very excited about, but it's gonna, of course, entail a lot of work. Um, Pretty much like every night I come home from work and I work some more. I, I, I have to pack or I have to, uh, you know, fix what we had. It's one of those weird things. We had the home inspection, uh, like a week ago or two. And it's funny because, you know, we know that there's problems here and there with our house. 
but still having somebody point those out it's like uh i don't know it's like when you're you're you have a zit on your face or something like that you know you have a zit on your face but then when somebody says hey you got a zit on your face it makes you feel bad um or maybe you have a big nose and you know you have a big nose and somebody says you have a big nose and suddenly you're like, hey, you don't make fun of me. It's, it's, that's the way you, you I, I feel bad having this guy point out the faults that are in my house. But anyways, some of the faults that are there, um, we're trying to fix so that when they say, hey, give us money to fix these things, we can just say, oh no, they're already fixed, you're fine. Uh, so there's that that I have to do as well. Mostly it's just packing and getting ready to move out because within uh, less than two, about two weeks, less than two weeks now, uh, we're going to have to be gone. And yeah, that's going to be tough. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, that's going to take up a lot of my time uh, over the next little while is... Uh, packing up all that stuff and getting it ready to move out so that when folks come over to help us move out you know it's not one of those things like I've had sometimes where I show up at somebody's house and they're just like here take a box and just put stuff into it and then take it out and you're just like oh you jerks have your dang house ready we're here to move stuff we're not here to pack for you uh anyways (laughs) um but yeah, I'm still running. I still have been working towards that, towards my marathon. That's my other big goal for the year, uh, which is to uh, run uh, a marathon. I came. I guess it's not quite a for the year because I came up with it much later in the year, but I've been trying to do that. Um, on Saturday, I went over to my sister's house, and me and my sister and my brother-in-law all ran 12 miles, which to me seems both astronomical and very small at the same time uh small because you know our goal is 26 miles and so we're still not even halfway there we're a little bit shy of halfway there still um but it's also astronomical to think that i ran 12 miles that's so far um you know, a year ago, I would have scoffed completely. Hey, you. Are you still talking back there? <laughs> I, I would have just been un, un... I would not have believed that I could possibly run 12 miles just ever. And, and especially not just on a Saturday. Okay, it's Saturday. I'm going to go run 12 miles. Um, it wasn't like a thing that I'd worked up and been planning for forever. No, it was just another one of my weekend runs. That just kind of dry, just blows my mind a little bit. It's funny because every time I see my dad recently, he's been, oh, he, he's like, I can't believe you distance runners. You ran 12 miles. You guys are crazy. And my dad was in the National Guard um, growing up. So every year they'd have their, uh, their uh, you know, physical, uh, I can't remember what they called it, P something. Not PE, because that's what we did at school. I want to say PT? That doesn't sound right. But anyways, they had, you know, their their physical uh, fitness, maybe PF, I don't know. Their physical fitness test every year that they had to pass to remain in the National Guard or whatever. If you got too fat and out of shape, then you couldn't do it. And you had to do a mile in a certain amount of time, or maybe it was two or three miles. I can't remember what it was, but... I used to see him go out, like, you know, every year as that test got close, all of a sudden he would start going out and jogging, and he'd always wait until it was too late to really get in shape, uh, enough for it, but, yeah, it it would always crack me up to see him go out and get jogging, and, uh, and, yeah, so, um, he was talking about how, yeah, for the last, like, 10 or 15 years he could never even pass his his mile run or two miles or however many miles they had to do. I don't know exactly how that works. Maybe uh, it wasn't something that was absolutely necessary. I don't know. Maybe it was because he was an officer. He didn't have to pass it as much. I don't know. But uh, but anyways, yeah. Um, 
He's really talking back there a lot, huh? But uh, but yeah, um, we're we're working towards it. Uh, I have my half marathon that I've scheduled. Uh, it's coming up on June fifteenth, so we're getting pretty close. And because of the fact that I'll be moving in two weeks, I think next week what we're going to be doing is doing a trial run. My brother-in-law is going to try and figure out more or less the course of the half marathon that we were going to run and we were going to go do a practice of it this week and then next week we do kind of a shorter run and then the week after we do a even shorter and just get ready for uh, the actual event and uh, my brother-in-law is funny he runs he runs pretty fast <laughs> and so he uh, he's always leaving me behind and having to stop and wait for me to catch back up and he was telling me the other day he's he's sorry, but he's going for his personal best record on a marathon, and he wants to see how good he can do it. So he's not going to be waiting for me when we uh, actually do the uh, the race. And I was just like, yeah, well, I kind of expected that. That's I mean, it's a race after all. You don't just wait and hold somebody's hand. So yeah that's uh coming up here really soon it's it's kind of weird to think how soon that's gonna be and i'll have run a half marathon there's a guy in his car right in front of me who has a 26.2 sticker on his back window and uh pretty soon i'll have one of those plus i'll have a 13.1 even sooner that'll be pretty awesome i'm pretty excited about that um, especially since I ran 12 miles on Saturday, I know I can do 13.1. Um, I could have kept going on Saturday and made it to 13.1. I mean, I w it would have been an arduous last mile, but I expect it to always be that way. So <laughs> I am a, a very slow runner, unfortunately. And uh, that's my one problem. I'm going to probably come in like an hour later than my brother-in-law and my sister. They'll be so much farther ahead of me. But... You know, whatever. It's all good. What matters is that I finished. That's what I'm going for this time around, is finishing. Not going to McDonald's instead of finishing. All right. Let me pause this for a second and drop my kid off here at the babysitters, and I'll be back with you in just a sec. So, yeah, that's my uh, running progress. I can make it 12 miles, so I should easily, I think, be able to make it 13 without any trouble um but yeah unfortunately i'm very 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 slow so uh i definitely won't be uh pushing to win this thing maybe uh years from now i'll be able to do that pick up some speed but yeah my big goal now is just to be able to complete it um and i think that's probably most people's goal is the first time that they do a, a really long race like that it's just, hey, can I do it? I know that was the first thing that I did when I did a 5K. I was super fat and I never ran or exercised. And I'd never even run that far in my life. Um, and so when I did that the first time, my only goal was just to actually finish. And I finished it very slowly. Um, but I did run the whole way, and that was that was my goal, and I succeeded. And next time around, my goal was to improve my time, and I did that as well. So maybe that will maybe that will be what I do next time around. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I get really bad shin splints these days. Um, I just got some new shoes on Saturday, so we'll see. If it helps, but I think I'll probably keep wearing my old shoes until I get through the uh, the half marathon, and then I'll look into trading into these new shoes. What I usually do when I get a new pair of shoes is wear them as walking around in all day long shoes for a while before I ever try and run in them, just so that they're broken in and I don't give myself really bad blisters because I went out and ran 12 miles in them or something like that. But yeah, I'm hoping we'll have to see uh, if the, the shoes help with the shin splints. Because the shin splints, are, wow, surprising how painful they can be. Um, they do tend to wear off, though. I don't know if that's a, that, that endorphin thing that people talk about with running, where you're supposed to get on an endorphin high 
I think I don't get on an endorphin high, I just use the endorphins to stop being in serious pain. So like somewhere around like six miles in or so, my shin splints will stop hurting so bad and other stuff starts to hurt instead, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, uh, that's my other goal. Um, it's coming along. Uh, hopefully I can manage to get some riding in. That was supposed to be the whole point of this ankle cast was, you know, I do an ankle cast so that I can report on my riding, I can report on my uh, keeping of my goals, which I laid out in the first one. They're good goals that I have not followed. Um, I think I need to go back maybe and even review those, and once we're moved, maybe I should uh, put in a new effort to keep those goals um, yeah, I, Rish was talking about the monsters that we had created in Gino and, uh, Marshall. They, they took on the, the magic spreadsheet thing, and they've written every day in May, and I've written, like, four days, so they are awesome, and I suck. Um, but I need to be awesome somehow. I need to awesome myself up. Um... Not sure exactly how one does that, what it is that I need to do to get that switch to flip, but I definitely need to try. I mean, I managed to do it with running. I, I run all the time, and even if I have to miss a day, I don't stop running. I just run the next time that I'm supposed to run, uh, such as this week. I didn't run on Monday morning because I had a dentist appointment. I had to go to that, and I didn't have time enough to get out and run. And so, but that's not going to keep me from running on Wednesday like I normally do. So, um, how do I make myself do that with writing? I need to, uh, to figure that out to really make it work. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's my ankle cast for today. It's what's going on in the world of Big Anklevich. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, any comments of support or any ideas that you have that I can do to get myself to, to write better, I welcome them in the comments. Um, I think I may start a uh, forum uh, in the forums, just a thread in the forums that's about the ankle cast. I probably won't do one per show, but it can be just a catch-all for all ankle cast shows. And uh, you can comment on anything there as well. Uh, but anyways, yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. And I'll talk to you next time. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do